Okay, pull that off of there like that. Let me see. I believe we have a decoupler, right? Do we not? Why, yes, we do. Good. Okay, so we'll do that. Let's go to propulsion. Let's put this here first off. Too many things in this game are just white and black and gray. Um, I want my fuel tanks, for especially for like first stage fuel tanks, I believe I want them to be shades of orange. Uh, show advanced. That's not quite what I'm looking for. Hue, oh, yeah. Okay, that's too red. Too yellow. Right around there, let's go with the value. Saturation. Oh, saturation is really what I was looking for. Okay. Uh, not too much of a value on that. Opacity. Okay, yeah, we're look we're at that. We're aiming for space shuttle main external fuel tank orange. Alright, let's go like this. See what this does for us. Uh, wrote up some something like about like that and uh, this point I'm actually gonna start playing around with my Kerbal engineering systems so I can know what's going on with them we'll just need one of them that I'll probably actually I'll stick back here yeah that works uh, well I, I suppose I should make a habit of having them on the on the capsule itself and uh, we'll put it back there like that so what this thing it has thrust to weight ratio just over one it's got 1600 meters per second delta V. All right, cool. This is Curb Flight 2. Save that one. Uh, staging. Yeah, let's check staging. Oh, th like the one time that I remember to check the staging, I don't actually have to change anything. Just the default will work. That just hardly seems fair. Okay, cool. Um... I want to try and get over towards the the mountains. We'll f we'll see what's over there. I guess maybe the the fiction that we're looking at is our, our Kerbals are restricted to Kerbal Space Center. Uh, they they woke up from a long sleep and, and the, there's nothing else anywhere on the world. I mean they were stuck in like cryogenic hibernetics, hibernate hibernation, and so they they don't know anything about the world outside of them. So they they found out about the water. They found out about low low atmosphere. Actually, I suppose I haven't taken a crew report from low atmosphere either. Well, I guess I don't. I don't really have to. It doesn't really keep track of that. So what's over there? Looks like some mountains. Let's try and get there. Bill, experienced. Oh, oops. <laughs> <laughs> I think it, it's 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 not flying. Well, maybe if we burn off some fuel. Thirty eight point six. I think maybe the the engineer what's it is doesn't know how to work with the the fact that I'm using the the uh, the system where where the specific impulse at a lower specific impulse, which it does have at the at the down here in the thick atmosphere. Uh, and it actually has lower thrust. The the stock game where in, oh there we go there we go turn the SAS on yeah the stock game where the uh, uh, specific impulse it it, adjust, it changes the rate of fuel consumption that is wrong. It really should be a more constant rate of uh, fuel consumption, but a different uh, thrust values. Okay, that's way too far over. Aim right around here. See how far we can get. Crew report. What we got? Yeah, we already got that one. Okay, we're aiming over here this direction, dude. That's aim just a little bit to the side. Just got like, I don't know, about a minute's worth of fuel left. Okay, try and maintain an angle about like that. We don't, we don't even have to get all that far, Bill. We just I just want to get a, a surface sample of something that is not around Kerbal Space Center. What kind of things we have in a crew report now? Yeah, shores. We already know about that. Discard. I want to get over some grasslands or something. Okay. Yeah, let's get some more horizontalage going here. Horizontalage! And this is a, is a term that I just created right now. 
Bill, he seems kind of concerned about this. He's not, he's not so happy about this. Uh, again, we haven't really attempted landing on a solid surface yet, so that could be an issue for him. SAS off. Uh, crew report, what do we have now? Yeah, we're still over Kerbin's shores. I suppose we'll keep it just in, just in case we don't ever come up with anything else. Wee! <laughs> and now we're on our way back down. Are we still over the shores? Can we be over like the, the, the grasslands or something? Actually, there's a whole lot of the stuff that I haven't actually experimented with. That's still the shores. Okay, we'll just keep it. And we'll hope that we can get a different soil sample over here. Actually, let's do that parachute now. We. Now we could say this is like uh, is an operational test. This was our first liquid-fueled rocket. So even if, even if the uh, the the science of of being where we are. Oh, hey, there's our <laughs> there's our our booster over there. Even if that doesn't work out, yeah, this is this will be a good operational test of this new technology. So that's good. I don't want to watch it explode when it crashes. Just because I like watching things explode, it makes me happy. Ooh, it's gonna crash! It's gonna crash! Bill, is your is your thing gonna? Yeah, there we go. Pop! Bam! Oh, hey, look! Oh, that uh, looks like the actual engine. Oh, <laughs> spoke too soon. The engine did survive for just a a, a minute there. I wonder, is it still going to tell us that we're that we have a that we're over the shores? Oh, hey, here we go. Keep that. Now we're now we're over the grassland. Let's keep that one. That's something different. That's what I was looking for. Bill, you happy about that one? That this is a useful scientific uh, uh, result. This is a good report, man. Should be happy about it. Brace for impact, dude. Yeah, that's oh, don't let your capsule roll over like that, uh, especially now you're face down. Here, let's can we stand this thing back up? Um, no, no. Oh, you're on a hillside. You're, come on, can we stand this thing back up? Oh, so close. And no, no, no. Stop. Step. Stand it. There. Nope. Yep. Er. Oh, no. All right, maybe we're just gonna stop screwing with it. Okay, good. Uh, get, can you get rid of that? EVA. There we go. EVA. Let go. Oh, don't bump that thing. You may have trouble getting back in. All right, Bill. How you doing, man? You doing okay? Uh, let's. Uh, Bill, I want an EVA report from Grasslands. We get a little bit of science for that. I want you to take a surface sample from the grassland. It looks like dirt. Now we know that underneath grass, we have dirt. This is something that was difficult to confirm from the confines of Kerbal Space Center, so this is, in fact, a useful result. Get back inside the, the, the buggy here. Good good grab there, dude. Good good grab. Okay, so we got that. Let's recover the vessel. All right, so we earned just under six science on that mission, so now we have ten science. Uh, we need ten more. I believe the next... Goal. It looks like our, our vehicle does not have what it needs in order to get over... Oh, do you see that? What is that little speck over there? Oh, I guess it was just a graphical glitch. Uh, next step, I want to get a vehicle out of the atmosphere. So, yeah, the, these guys with, a, with their, uh, their linear... Um, yeah, with their decoupler, they had an idea. I had an idea of things that we can do with this. Uh, let's go right here. Let's grab ourselves one of those. We could even stage correctly. And let's grab our solid rocket booster. And again, this thing needs to be black because it looks cooler that way. All right, this is Curb Flight 3. <laughs> Uh, yeah, my, my whole attitude about this, at first I was upset about the thing that we had manned rocketry first, that we didn't have airplanes, that we didn't have probes. Uh, I've changed my mind. This is going to be fun. All right, 
the mission this time the mission should you choose to accept i don't know it didn't really matter whether you choose to accept or not it's what we're gonna do uh the mission is to go straight up see if we if this setup is sufficient to get out of Kerbin's atmosphere and you know we want to find out how high the atmosphere is find out what conditions are like if we leave the air behind that's what we're after bill and you you were the man for the job i believe in you so really no real steering involved, just lock that SAS and go. Ha! Here we go. Three G's and increasing. <laughs> Three and a half G's. Bill doesn't seem happy about it. He says his eyeballs are squishing into his head. And you know, considering the size of a Kerbal's eyes eyes, that must be uncomfortable. Get rid of that. Stage that. Throttle up. All right, much more comfortable acceleration. Only like a half G of acceleration at this point. I believe it it should still be enough to keep us going. Yeah, and already our acceleration is slightly increasing. Okay, Bill, this is what we're after. We, uh, I want uh, a crew report from outside of the atmosphere. If possible, if it looks like you have enough time, I would also like like to get a... Um, I would also like to 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 get an EVA report from outside of the atmosphere. Let's see how well that'll work. Mountains. We still have to get over there. We have to get some crew reports from over there as well. Nineteen. I don't know. We've still got a bunch of fuel left in this thing. We're just past like the, you know, we passed the halfway point a little bit ago. So I it may. This vehicle may be enough to get out of the atmosphere. It's possible. Getting farther and farther away. This is probably our first glimpse. Uh, uh, yeah, he can take a look and see what the shape of the coastline is. He can see that there's more ocean over here. Only really could if he rolled that direction. Let's roll the other direction. Yeah, roll around, take a, take a look. Take lots of pictures. Hope you took a like you know a little a little pocket camera with you. Bill is upset. He says, "I didn't bring a little camera, man." Uh, this oh this thing predicts just barely enough. How about that, huh? Now let's get a little tiny little bit more thrust. Let's actually boom stage that thing. Get rid of that just in case it's it's adding like more drag and stuff. Kill the SAS, we don't need that anymore. Oh wow, that's still shrinking because there's that whole gravity drag thing. We and we should just barely be able to get up get up out of the atmosphere. You're gonna make it, Bill. You're gonna be the first Kerbal to leave to leave the atmosphere behind. How do you feel about that? Bill? Nah, he's not so he's not thrilled about it. Bill can be kind of a killjoy sometimes. You ever notice that? Bill reports that the wind noise outside is, has dropped off to nothing. He can't hear anything anymore. He also reports the zero G is making him feel rather uncomfortable. Okay, let's see. It's it's actually that we hit space not up at 70, but somewhere around. It's like 69 point something. Report. Yes! Alright, let's definitely keep this one. We are in space right now, Bill. I want an EVA report. Get your, get, get yourself out there. Hold on to that. <laughs> How do you feel, Bill? To look around, take some pictures and stuff. Can we, can we this thing? Whoops, 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 whoops. Okay, I want an EVA report recorded from space just above Kerbin's short. I didn't realize that you need EVA reports from above all the different biomes. I actually didn't realize that. It's interesting. Uh, keep that. Here, let's store that experiment. Thank you. Uh, we, we appear to be going back down now. Bill, I want you to get back into the capsule. Good job EVAing, though, in just a few seconds. You threw that door open, jumped out, took a look around, opened the door. Yeah, he's he liked that. Yeah, Bill's happy about that one. It worked out just fine. Okay, let's see when we, we did get the the review store data right yeah eva report and also the crew report yeah good we 
it's fun. Oh, wait, whoa, whoa, hey, 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 do you see this? Do you see it? Ooh, look at that thing. That passed within, it was inside 300 meters away from us. That was, we should, we should be careful about that kind of stuff. <laughs> Bill is learning about mock effects. He seems kind of upset about that. I'll wait till we get subsonic and we'll pop the chute. There we go, right about here. Boom! He's learning about instantaneous G effects. Where's... Okay, where did that... Where did it go? I'm kind of concerned about how close that thing came, within 300 meters of us. But we appear to have lost it now. Okay. That was that was odd. Maybe it burned up. Except I don't have deadly reentry uh, uh, installed. It, it turned out... Uh, it, the game, it, I mean, the deadly reentry mod, it turned out, is, it's kind of pointless anymore. Uh, because it's, you can't, you can't go fast enough to actually catch something on fire, and you're left with the G-force effects, which are quite often buggy and make things explode on the pad. And so, um, no, got rid of it. So we'll have some pretty fireworks, but no longer effective ones. Bill, I mean, he's doing the jig. He's all happy over there, waving his little... Waving his little mitten arms around. <laughs> okay. So Jebediah may have been first in flight. Bill, he's the first to, to leave the sky behind. If, if you're going to call air the sky. Boom. Thud. Crunch. Bang. <laughs> um, let me see. I believe he does not need his... Well, he'll, I'll, I'll have him go ahead and, and do a surface sample anyway. Uh, just in order to 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 add to it in case there are like a few little scraps of science that we didn't get before. I want I'm not going to overwrite your EVA report, but I am going to take a surface sample. Oh, wait a second. Tundra. I believe this is a bug. This is not. Ground here seems to be completely frozen. Very hard to scoop up this sample. Is it because we're at a slightly higher altitude, but we're not really? I believe that is probably a bug. I mean, I'm not going to give the science back. Yeah, let's keep that. Or maybe it's just winter. That could be it. That could be all there is to it. All right, recover vessel. Uh, 15 science earned on this mission. Now, so grand total, we got 25 science in the bank. We shouldn't have that tundra though. That, that's almost like cheating. <laughs> Okay, open this one up. What do we have down here? See, this one was 20, and the other one is 30. And this one gives us um, fuel tank, which I already have of a stretchy fuel tank, but it gives you a, be a better rocket engine, uh, which could be useful for something. We don't actually need it right now, though. Um, okay, survivability. Now, we can kill probes rather than kerbals, or have nice legs to bring kerbals back safely with. Unstated in the description... Mystery Goo Containment Unit. Yeah, I think we want that. Let's research that thing. Bam! There we go. And it opens up new new stuff. Yeah, this looks like it has wings. Yeah. I mean, it's, it's, it may come as no surprise to anybody that would probably be the next one I go for. I decided to put the procedural wing in there. I know the suggested stock tech tree had like procedural wings all the way at the very end end of the tech tree like some I cannot possibly state how strongly I disagree with that design decision because the wing the, the procedural wing is just re representing it's it's simple sheet metal cut and and shaped into pieces uh, it, if you if you can make this piece then you can make anything that you can make with that one all right but I, I won't complain about it but yeah that's probably what we're going for next how much is that how much does that tab cost 30 science this one cost 30 science what do you have down here ladders <laughs> what do we have here batteries communitrons thermometer what do we have here probe cores for lightweight sciencing yeah but i think we're gonna go for this one next although i'm gonna cease recording just for now it seems we have a good solid start to the the space program we've only uh only slaughtered one Kerbal for, uh, I don't know, how many launches was that? There's a few. So, yeah, we have a, a positive um, a positive ratio of successful flights to Kerbal deaths. That's 
that's, that's about that's as good as I can expect, really. So yeah, we'll we'll look at this some more. I'll talk to you later. Goodbye.